I am the caretaker of all of our donors. It's more than a job, it's kind of a calling. They are giving us the ultimate gift of their body. Most of the pre-donors that have called are genuinely interested in their body being given back to the earth. I just had a conversation with someone who just wants to be up against a tree and just be part of nature. I had another one pretty early on that said, I just want to be et by bugs. <laughs> and I was like, I am glad that you are acutely aware as to what happens at these facilities. Forest, which is the Forensic Osteology Research Station, is our decomposition facility. Awesome. clearly had a little bit of fun last night. Our facilities and lab spaces are within the umbrella of the Forensic Anthropology Program. Take time to kind of look around, get used to the smells, um, it's not too bad. We average somewhere between 20 and 30 donors a year. one has been out here for more than a year and just isn't decomposing anymore. So what we're going to do is just kind of bring them in um, and do what we can in the lab, basically. So this one's up here. We are an undergraduate only program at the moment. Our students come out with experiences that most graduate students in forensic anthropology don't have. They're gonna be potentially working as death investigators or autopsy technicians, and they're gonna see things that are worse than anything they would see here. We just do our best to kind of prepare them for that. I bagged them. <laughs> <laughs> I sharpened them, I bagged them, and then they got left in up at Argo. A lot of our students within this program don't view it as taboo, it's just part of life and this is what comes next. I think it's interesting to work with postmortem bodies. They don't get a lot of attention, I don't think. Families are kind of just confused. They just are like, okay, they're like, dead people got it, but they don't really understand exactly what's going on. My friends, they're just really interested that I get to come here and do this. Right now I'm planning on trying to kind of work somewhere in field, I'm not sure yet, and then go to grad school. Everybody here at this program is like really sweet. Everybody gets along really well and talks a bunch and it's just a good environment to be in, in this kind of work. For me, it's not morbid or scary at all. It's my peaceful place. It's quiet. In a way, I know everyone that's out there. Our students understand that they are still people. You have to treat them with respect. If we have to, think about, you know, what if this was your loved one? Um, we're gonna have to rinse them since they're not back on a dirty yeah, yeah, yeah. tray. Okay. Our students get to see these donors in the classroom. We'll clean off any remaining dirt or tissue, and then donors get inventoried, labeled with their donor number, and then join our curated skeletal collection, which we use for teaching and research. Having this facility and the labs associated with it are huge. It's really an experience that we can't replicate in any other way. After doing this work for more than a decade, I can't imagine doing anything else with my body but giving it back to science. Every donor can teach us something.